And Ms. Um, Ms. Pernique came here for me from Virginia. Thank you so much, Ms. Pernique.
Um, and I know I'm all over the place. I, I promise you, we're gonna bring Wait, it you together. Did, you did nail soup? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I started out with nail soup. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna get to the beer. Okay. <laughs> I promise you. So, um, he told me, you know, I, I was gonna name the gift the gifts of the spirit, right? But my pastor told me the name is Fruit of the Spirit. I'm like, oh Lord, how am I gonna put this together? So as he gave me the name, right? I began to research and God began to give it to me how Fruit of Fruit of the Spirit can be incorporated into an actual salon, mm -hmm. right? He, I mean, he spelled it out, right? So love, I'm not going to, this is the blueprint print for any business, okay? Love. When you're in business, you have to have a love for what you do, right? Mm -hmm. So I have been nothing but blessed by naming my company, Fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. A lot of people come because they don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come because they do know what it is, et cetera, yeah. right? Very so he began to, when like we did it. the build out, he showed me each area would be a fruit of, fruit of the Spirit. So love, mm -hmm. and not to be extra spiritual or you know, religious, but this is what God has given me. So love, in order to win people over, you have to love on them. You don't know what people are going through each and every day. So I started out with hugging my clients when they came in, right? So love, joy. When they got in the salon, they got the hair done. They look in the mirror, they got the joy, right? So that was the salon style area. Moving into the shampoo area, meekness. Before anyone can receive a service or anything, before you receive anything, you have to humble yourself, mm -hmm. right? So shampooing them, it prepares them to receive, right? Mm -hmm. The dry area. Guess what? Long suffering, patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'm telling you, God mm -hmm. built it out for me. I didn't have to anything. <laughs> right? So long patient, uh, long suffering. Mm -hmm. The rest, even down to the restroom, self control. It's non fruit. I'm not going to get into all of you all research it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Even down to the restroom was temperament or self control. Because a lot of times when you're dealing with customers or just dealing with life circumstance, life itself, you know, it'll take you there. So you gotta go get away, get that temperament in order, right? That attitude, and come back and revisit it. Faith, it takes faith in this industry, okay? Faith, even when you don't see it, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. So faith, right? And you know, uh, goodness, even down to the break room. But anyway, nine fruit of the spirit was nine areas within the salon and spa. I operated a full, God bless us with this, huge uh, building, you know, we had over 5,000 square footage, mm -hmm. and we built out the salon and the spa and everything flowed accordingly. Very, very successful, but at the same time, it was a headache dealing with, you know, you got to have that management side of it as well, mm -hmm. okay? When you're looking to open a salon and you say, hey, I want to open this salon and I want to do this, you got to have the management, okay? Because if not, you're dealing with different, especially if you have employees, you're dealing with different personalities and different things like that. So that was a headache for me. I just wanted to do what I did and, and keep it moving, all right? So that's fruit of the spirit. God gave me that, and it's been nothing but a blessing, and I promise him that everywhere I go, okay, I wouldn't be ashamed to talk about it because mm -hmm. that is the blueprint yeah. of my business. Mm -hmm. We don't even have to go further, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I do. Um, beard care, how did I get into beard care? About three years ago, I was introduced to a beard care line in Virginia, Virginia Beach. I helped the company um, do very well. Um, so I took the business all over to Nigeria and different things like that. But I actually got into it because it's more, it was more something like a fun, something different outside of me being serious you know, each and every day. You know, my everyday life is more serious and like this. So it was something to get away from my everyday um, salon and, and clinic um, services, right? And I named myself the Beard Huntress. Then I had this really fun logo, which, which is outside of the box, and you're pulling a guy with a beard, right? And um, it took off. And I looked at it, the approach I take towards the beards is the same approach I take towards hair. I'm known for, um, restoring hair. So when guys, they have beard challenges, I treat it the same, they come to me for their beard issues, whether it be patchiness or the beard is dry, it's not growing, it's not connecting. They seek my services. And the beard care industry is over a $30 billion industry. Mm -hmm. uh, early this year, I uh, created my own line and I took that scientific approach, all right, um, to actually target the specifics of the client itself, okay? Um, so I'm really excited about that line, and then I also created um, another line, which is my topical hair loss line. It's called uh, Prescriptives, 
So I'm really excited about that as well. But the sky's the limit in this industry. Don't limit yourself. Um, to make a long story short, I got into this, this business as a whole to change the trajectory uh, for me and my entire family. This is a legacy that we're building. Fruit of the Spirit is a legacy. Okay, it's not just something I'm doing day in and day out. So you have to uh, look into residual income, all right? Making money while you're sleeping. That's the goal, all right? We work sun up to sundown. We make the money, all right? But if something happened to you, do you have a backup plan? Do you have something else in place? If you, you know, your hand becomes injured, you can't work. You can't stand anymore. What do you have in place? Do you have a backup plan? And that's the question I always ask, you know, uh, my colleagues in this industry when I'm doing a play. You gotta have things in place, all right, that will work. Say, all right. Thank you.